Hello everyone and welcome back again. So another garlic harvest video today. And these are what was left over from planting the other bed up. And I did a little test with these. These ones were planted with mycorrhizal fungi and these ones without. And by the tops there doesn't seem to be much of a difference. But we'll get these pulled out, have a look, see if there was a bit of a difference, and see if it's worth doing. Right then, so these seem to have grown a lot better than the ones in the beds. They were started off in cell trays and planted out a little bit later. So we'll do the ones without the mycorrhizal fungi, which is just the Q4 grow more mycorrhizal. And we'll start with these ones. That one's just starting to split. But decent sized, nonetheless. And this one also started to split with the paper. Definitely a good good idea getting these out today. Another couple of days and they're all split open. I did six in each of these baskets. And these are just old shopping baskets. Decent sized one. And that one's also a decent sized one. Definitely better than what we had in the raised bed but they're the ones with no root powder get something else planted up in these and top them up with some fresh compost and these are the ones with root powder really nice sized garlic if they're all like that I'd be very happy then really nice ones on this side it's three for three really nice ones on this side now so, so far, it's looking like adding the mycorrhizal fungi has actually made a bit of a difference with these. One small one. But even that. Definitely a lot more roots on these ones, but overall, really happy with them, yeah, so decent sized garlic, I'll keep a couple of these bigger ones for seed for next year, and I think next year I will definitely be using some Q4 root powder. 
So that's the stuff. Vitax, Q4, root more, mycorrhizal fungi. And by the look of them, I think I'll definitely be using it when I plant my future bulbs. Noticed as well, none of the ones on this side split, and a couple of the ones on that side had. Don't know whether that's due to me overwatering or just that they've been in a bit too long. Okay, right guys, so a little experiment now with the garlic. Uh, worked out well, it was worth doing. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and drop me a comment below. Let me know how your garlic's doing this year. Bye for now.